So I'm going to give away some secrets today. I'm going to just start this one about some celebrities and their kids and their grandparents and just celebrities and method actors and we'll talk a little about Juilliard and you know the usual and Bill Cosby right because it's going to be about parents and actors and keeping our masks on during the operations right that's what they're telling us now they're like please you know I've always been you know hey pass me the drill right like we don't use drills anymore. Have you ever heard that one? You're like in the middle of, you, know, you, you centered it. It's like a project. And you're thinking, how is that even, why what, are you a crazy key grip? And you're, you're finding yourself in this situation, you're on a set. As you can see. So imagine a set where there are comedians who are fathers turning into so that they can write the book to sell that angle for their sitcom, which is going to keep going. That's called family entertainment. And you can do this forever. That's education. So instead of Cosby taking an angle, like, perhaps I should explain, like, I'm not going to explain it to my kid, right? Was his wife a good mom? I mean, was he a good dad with his own kid? Ask them both about the honeymoon, if you want to know what kind of parenting they did, right? So how long ago was the honeymoon? How long did it last, right? You whippersnappers from the Manhattan School of Music. You know me. You know we had an issue with Juilliard. But the characters who, who are in this one-act play, for lack of a better word, laziness, I'm going to attempt, a.k.a., I'm sorry, AKA, right? John, right? You ever have someone do that? They go, um, right, that happened this morning, they're calling. It's my, my agent, they're calling him an agent now. He has many hats. We, you remember in one of my past uh, experiments with you, we discussed that, the many hats. What's the difference, a budget film and an independent film? Remember? This is on the test that I'm insisting you pass to continue on with my tenure so I can keep working, okay? It's all about the work. So about the work, unless you're a method actor, right? A method actor, yeah, it's about the work. I'll give you an example. So schooling, let's take a place, a random place that maybe in our psyches we can uh, hone in on, right? And go, oh, I know what that looks like. Like if I was going to tell you this person from Juilliard, found themselves in the parking lot of this, let's say this, LAX, right? They call it LAX. It's an airport like any other airport. I don't know. It's, it's got, okay, it's got its little quirks, right? It's, if you're a Lyft driver, like we all remember the Thanksgiving day, right? Where we got the news about this super virus right we all so we're in this roundabout that's <clears throat> how can i express it to you if you've ever seen a sitcom where they're coming into the lax it's the los angeles airport for 
for my friends in Sweden, right, are just messing with me because they, you know, were like, uh, we're actually from Switzerland. And then I'm like, wait a minute, you guys speak English too, right, in Switzerland. And then they're like, ah, ah, the gig is up, right? And then they go subscribe to some other channel and just start, you know, messing with that guy. And then it's a system. So, you know, to be YouTube... I'm going to do some schooling. I'm going to be a good father, right? My method acting from the very beginning was to be a bad father. I did it several times. We're still friends. We talk to each other. They're in the business, right? I didn't do anything. Well, maybe the first one. My eldest, yeah, maybe I did a little. But the, it was the circumstances, right? I think I might have explained once. I was... I was doing a monologue of a near-death experience, right? I'm doing my own monologue. I'm thinking, um, this will be good to get into USC, right? I'm having one of those dreams where I'm auditioning, right, to be a method actor, right? I just want to get in... To USC. It, it's the simplest dream. It's not like it got all complicated. And I was sitting there, you know, like a sitcom. Like like Bill Cosby's sitcom, right? Where all of the kids are deciding if Princeton or Harvard, you know, their services might be needed, Papa, right? And he's telling him, that's when he's bringing in, like, suddenly, well, I actually went to USC, right? He's doing this fathering. Nobody's listening because they don't believe him because they know he's not a good father. This is my gig. This is my act, people. I'm, I, I was told that I needed to talk about this, this, these father issues. It's like a relationship. It's like, oh... You got daddy issues, right? You've heard a woman like, oh boy, I don't want daddy issues and you look like it, right? How can they tell? Really? Look. Do you walk in, you go, you go, may I please, right? Totally. It's not like you come in with an accent and they start messing with you going like, Vader? Really? I don't know. I don't think we have that. What is that? Vader? You know, they really mess, they, 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 they drag it out. They're all method actors too, right? We're going to be these like, uh, like these kind of like people who work in bars. We have no idea what we're doing, right? But we're making all the drinks, right? You're like... Oh, a zombie? Yeah, that's got like everything in it. I know how to do it, right? And they're doing... And all they care about is... All they care about... Is, I'm sorry, I'm spitting at you and you weren't wearing your mask. I'm sorry. And it's getting on, you know. I got... I, this camera was lent to me, you know. It's uh, Scorsese's phone. How did you get Scorsese's phone? Why do you keep dropping his name? He's a dad, right? No, he's a, he was a, a film student. That, that's the other part of my gigs. Film students. And I'm going to parallel their films back in the day when Bill Cosby was like, I'm an actor, right? I'm going to be token. Non-Caucasian actor, sitcom, father, right? That's a comedian. You start out, you're a stand-up. This is the bit. How to be a comedian in the uh, father genre, right? Cooking. You just, you just put that in the beginning, kids, all right? So you're, don't even, don't do the typing. Here's the thing. Like the scene thing, it's not necessary. It's it's overrated. It's like the clacker thing that they're insisting, like to do the sound to like. You're just going to have the person vo it. It's a you know. 
But no, they'll be like, do the screaming one more time, right? And you're like, dude, you, you're asking me to do this role. I'm like, Pavarotti. I'm an opera singer. I have this gorgeous voice. Like the, the, the next scene, like what's coming up is like, I'm, I have to perform and like the best, like I have to sound. I don't know if you know about the vocal, you know, opera, but you know, I've been method acting, so I've been hanging out with this guy, right? And I couldn't get him just to, huh? Like we're just trying to do some vocals here some vocalizations, right? And he's already talking to me about, hey, the work, right? What's, what's this guy's Bill Cosby's, um, you know, I hear, what's his, what's his take on, 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 on fat opera? Um, people, do, does he ever say anything about, well, I'm like, well, you know, he's like, he's really into jazz, so I don't, you know, but all I know is that when it's a, you know, how does this, how do you say, you know, how do we do this right? You know, painting, he's an artistically, he tends to stay away from the Caucasian part. Let me tell you this, this is what Bill Cosby did just to fix this whole problem. He's like, you know, I don't like the N-word. You know, nobody does. I don't like it when, you know, the people I'm working with keep, you know, bringing that up. So if I make it part of the business, right, it's a sitcom, no more N-word. That means to me, the father, right? I'm the father, but like America's father, America, for the next 40 years, right? And you guys, you guys are just going to surround me and... Even though I'm actually telling you, like my records, telling you who I am and what I'm going to do to your kids and that if you leave me alone with them, like my parents did, if you leave them in a room alone with Bill Cosby, that's his gig, right? His first recording, you know, bum, 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 right? And he's like, I don't know. He was either riding a skateboard. I mean, just whatever was hip, right? He, I think it was the basketball, right? Because that's always going to work, right? Until you're like OJ and you're like stealing back your memorabilia, right? And you're like, yeah, right, he was taking stuff. It was all fine. He, he's like, I guess that is yours, yeah. Oh, that, the Heimlich trophy. Is that what it's called? Whatever. I don't know. I can't spell it. Sure, take it. I, nobody wanted it, right? And then suddenly, you know, he's getting cocky. He's like a... Oh, and I think that, you know, the... I think that Spider-Man, you know, the first one. I, not this other crap. Look at this. I, I don't want that. Edition. You know, the one that says one cent. <laughs> right? Like that really... That, that really existed, right? The first one would just happen to be one cent. Right? It doesn't worth anything. Right? They got cut down a tree. Right? It was a lie. Right, so we got this concept, and uh, now we have this Caucasian who's challenged in figuring out that actually, right, he hasn't studied, he didn't get into USC, that was one of the questions, is black, right, this is the thing, this is how he got the N-word off, and then other words, and we're, we're changing, we're, you know, now we are the... Uh, Caucasianally challenged. We're the Caucasianally challenged. You know, occasionally we throw out the N word and we're white and we have to go, why? You know, and then we always go through the Beastie Boys who explain, well, you know, even though most of our friends are, we can't be having this. It's, uh, just don't do it. You know, there's no way. And I'm still like, you know, I think there's an angle. I keep, you know, I've been studying this one because I want that word. I'm sorry. I don't, I, I, I want that word. I want to be able to say it. In, 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 it's part of my act, right? I have, like, my, my reference, like the two of them, 
have this word in it. Both of them are Caucasian. Not even, not challenged, right? But it's like, it's the person who said it. So like the Beatles, and, and, you know, it's John Lennon, you know, just pulling a Bill Cosby, right? He's pulling a Bill Cosby during, um, during the honeymoon, right? It's like he's on top of her, Yoko Ono. And she's tiny. And she's doing her crazy, like, screaming, right? And it's John Lennon, right? And he's taking off his mask and he's getting closer to her. And we didn't know. We didn't know that was happening. You know, and then then he's just like, he thinks it's sexy, right? It's the their honeymoon, right? It's, it's right before. It's like the last thing he said to her before they were like, whoa, the honeymoon's over. And it was that, you know, you're the woman of the world, right? You're the, you're that one natural. Let's use that. Let's go. We're going protocol. We're breaking it. All right. Did you hear it? They're like, <sighs> is that a Lenny Bruce thing? Do you think he's going to start um, reading his divorce papers? Because, you know, nobody's pulled a Lenny. And, uh, you know, you just don't do that. Those are things you don't do. It's like you don't want to do a Cosby, right? You don't want to be like, Oh, man, did you see his act, right? In the middle of Cosby. And all everyone's like, no, he did. Who did he? You know, they can't even guess just that I even brought anyone else in. It's like, you can't do that. You're stealing the whole concept. Like, you're just pulling it out and saying, well, look, there's that show. I heard it here. Well, it's the news. You're going to tell me I can't take from the news. You're going to be like, that's, that's my bit. And that's Cosby, right? Like, mm, the dad bit. That's mine. And you're like, but I was listening to your records as a kid because my parents would go out of the room because they'd heard the record before. And in the record, you're explaining that your parents left you in a room with a record, right? The mirror of this stuff right? Something scary. Somebody's gonna come and get you, right? So the parents, they're thinking they're all smart because they just want to get out of the house. See, he makes it worse. Like, in, in my case, I remember, they just wanted to talk, right? Adult stuff. And on the record, it says, he's like, I'm a very good father. You know, you, sometimes you should take some time to yourselves, right? Discuss the honeymoon, right? Right? It's got to come up. You got to work it out, right? It, it did happen. So anyways, right? It's the honeymoon. Like a Bill Cosby sitcom, right? Where he's already going, all right, you go get a job, woman, right? Right? John Lennon's over here with Yoko Ono saying, hey, no, it's N, you know, N woman to you, Mr. Cosby, right? So now they're like, oh my, what's gonna happen? Like the the world was just trembling. See, you can feel it, it's happening now, because they're wondering, is he gonna get out and make it so vague? Or is he gonna like point a name so that we're gonna be like seriously, you know, be just random. Some guy in a prison, right? One of them. Has some problems, relationship problems, right? Perhaps he finds himself right now, you know. In a, in a, in a prison um, rope, right? A, kind of a bathrobe. He invented this thing, right? He thinks, he says, he told everyone. And that's why they slept with him, right? He told them, hey, I've invented something. It's called the sitcom, right? But, you know, real life, right? Like, a, it's about a comedian, right? Who becomes, like, powerful. And, you know, he's really funny. So people think, well... It must be the truth, right? And he's taking his tragedies, like, telling you, like, I'm a very bad person. I would be a terrible father, a terrible lover. I, I don't like people. I lose all my friends just walking. You know, we go, they call me. They're like, do you want to go trail walking? That's what we do here. It's like sports, right? But I'm, I'm not a team player anymore, right? I'm, I'm in my own thing. I'm not trying to get into USC. I'm just doing my thing and they told me well to get into USC 
You need to, you need to do channels. Like you have to go through proper protocol, which is like, like a sport or a trade, you know, some sort of art or mm, perhaps, you know, something you're good at. Huh? You don't have to have talent. I already told you in another bit, it's the, the talent doesn't matter. It's that you want to do it, you really love it, and that you don't care that you're, you're not going to get paid, right? It's the minute. I'm like, how are we going to pay the editor? Yeah, we didn't think of that. You know, we can't become an independent film now, right? It gets complicated, you know? It's like, well, wait, you're going to have me start filming, right? We, it, it was in the, it was in, it said on the thing that, that we have to have this CPS, you know, BS. He's got his doctorate, right? He's a super cameraman, right? He's got his ASCAP BS, right? He's got his doctorate, and then, then he got his BS? Is he an idiot? Like, do you see how it looks when he's, you know, tagging his name in the parking lot, just showing off his BS, right? We know, we know. You got your doctorate and you were just like lazy and didn't want to choose a job and, and now you're just hanging out at school forever. I get it. You're, it's your professional students. But at USC, I remember the teachers, the good ones, They'd always tell me they don't. You don't want to be a. You don't want to be a good student. They'd say that's what we like about you. You're not a good student. And I was trying to figure out what they meant, and so I, you know, I, I ordered them another round. And they're being playful with me now, right? They, they're pulling here and they're doing this. This guy, right? They're all like. Oh. And so I'm telling them, okay, I'm paying off their drinks, and they're explaining like. Why don't you get behind the bar? Why don't you make us one of these drinks, right? It's, you, you talk, right? That's what they do to the students when they, they know you've, like, didn't cheat, right? Getting into USC, they're, they're, like, testing, like, just to see what you said was true. So they, they do the lawyer thing. Like, they'll ask you one thing, so that's what you think. And then, like a cop, too, or, you know, a judge, your parents, a dad. Right? Like, that's the good dad, right? You're dying. You have 20 seconds. You really could just, you know, I just need time to myself to not do this, students. Right? When you're there, you're, you're doing your thing. You're trying to breathe behind a mask. Right? Just do your job, which is method acting, living. Now you're, you know, you're making a career change. You're thinking maybe I should method act a doctor who can operate on himself very quickly. Just, you know? And then you start thinking of the movies. You're like, that wasn't helpful, right? You think, right? But this time, there's nobody around to, like, help me or ask me questions like, may I help you? So I'm alone with my thoughts. And, and so, you know, when you're alone with your thoughts, you... And, you, and they're good ones. Like when you just come down, you've got, you got 10 more seconds. You've got plenty of time. We can figure this out together. Let's just sit. Let me go make a little, not coffee for you, because I don't think that's going to help the heart thing and then the mind thing. And you know, you already told yourself it's all a mind thing. 